When it comes to ARK, underwater caves play a major role in hiding, so we proudly present Top 10 Overpowered Underwater Caves on ARK. My server's deluxe wipe today, September 30th. Deluxe servers is just like OC, but with better server handling and an official grind. Deluxe offers 3x harvest, lag free servers, an in game shop, no pay to win, 5x breeding, new player protection, 3x experience, and more. Come join Deluxe today and get up to one week of new player protection. And coming at number 10, this can be found on Lost Island at 49.0 latitude and 23.6 longitude. Here it is on the map. And this underwater cave actually has two little areas, but I'm going to show off the main area instead of both of them. So as you can see, you come down this little crack, which is at the very top, and over there you have a small little area, and then over here you have a bigger area. Now this area, it leads you all the way down this little hallway, so you have to go down this hallway to get to the spot. Now to get over here, basically follow this super long hallway, and you can spam this whole thing with turrets, I mean, you can put a ton of defense, and it opens up into this nice open kind of cave right here. Now on the inside, there's not a ton of room, so if you're a smaller tribe, this is perfect for you. But this is a really hidden spot, a lot of people don't even know that this thing is here. And by the way, there's also a twin of this cave, kind of really close to it, so make sure to keep a lookout for that one. And coming at number 9, this can be found at 10.9 latitude and 46.4 longitude on Ragnarok. Now here it is, it's up, up at the like top, kind of middle of the map. And this spot I've only ever showed off once, and that was, I think, two and a half years ago. So if you're new to my channel, you've probably never seen this spot ever, as it's really not in any other videos. But anyways, this spot is, like, insanely hidden. I mean, if you come down here, you're opened up into this nice little, I guess you could call it a little, like, acute kind of, like, cave. I would call this one more of a rat hole, but I'm just going to throw it in here anyways. It's got a good size to it. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. Perfect for a smaller tribe, or if you're solo looking to stay super hidden underwater, this is definitely a great spot for you, and defending this spot is also super easy too, as you can't really fit a lot of dinos really close to even get to the entrance. And coming at number 8, this can be found at 43.3 latitude and 68.9 longitude, and this is on Genesis 2. Now, this little underwater area can be found by going through the little terminal things in the water. If you know what I mean, they're super easy to find, they're basically circular domes in the water. You go into those and you are greeted into this nice underwater area. Once you get down here, then do the chords. But anyways, this is more of a, I don't know if we, if you should call it a cave, but I'm, I'm going to call it a cave because it's a little water entrance leading into a nice little base area. Now this is for more of a good sized tribe and I, would, I personally like this spot a lot as it's more of like a modern kind of spot and it doesn't even really feel like arc when you're in here but the downside of this one is it has two entrances so if you are fine with defending two in entrances this is a very good spot to build in and coming at number seven this can be found at 24.8 latitude and 91.2 longitude and here it is on the center now this spot is known as the center bubble now there are two center bubbles on this map but this is the much much bigger one and this bubble is actually a lot more overpowered than people think now, although it has a very large entrance and also has a second entrance here in the back, a lot of dinos can't even get in here, so stuff like rock golems and most soakers can't even walk through the bubble, just because of how Ark has it set up. But inside, you have a ton of room, there's no 6x damage or really anything in here. You have tons of room for anything and everything that you want. You can have reapers in here, but you cannot bring them back in, which I find kind of interesting, and you cannot have flyers in here. The flyers float up to the ceiling, it's kind of funny. But here's the second area over here, and there is a ton of room, like I said earlier, and you can even expand up into the ceiling and put some cliff plats and put your main base up there. That's what I did whenever I lived in here, and we tried, we got, we almost got raided here probably two or three times, and nobody ever got to our main base because we had it in the ceiling. 
Now this spot is super great for a bigger tribe looking to kind of stay on the hidden side of the center and a lot of people still don't know about this till this day. But anyways, let's move on to the next one. And coming at number 6, this can be found on Fjordor at 51.3 latitude and 44.8 longitude. And here it is on the map, basically in the center of the map, you can find this nice little cave. And I say little, it's actually got a pretty good size to it. So coming in through the entrance right here, you're greeted with this nice little kind of walkway through here, which you could put a main turret wall on if you really want to. And in here, you have a nice good amount of room for maybe storing some water dinos and you even have an above ground area. Now this is the first section of this, which is the bigger section, but it's a little bit harder to defend that part. So you're going to want to build in this back section over here. Now I've put them some full base designs on the space spot. So if you want to learn how to build in here, feel free to go check those out and just look through my channel. They're actually pretty recent if you're watching this video right as it goes up. But anyways, this is the full cave. Let's get on to the next one. And coming at number five, this can be found at 16.3 and 73.7 longitude. And this can be found on Crystal Isles. Now this spot is another one of my like little favorites that a lot of people really don't know about. Now if you are a Crystal Isles fan like I am, you probably know about this, but if you don't really like Crystal Isles, you probably didn't even know that this little like rat hole kind of cave even existed. Now I'll admit this one is one of the weirder ones as it's a little bit harder to build in here than some of the other ones on this list. but. The reason why it's at number 5 is because it makes for a great base spot and is super hidden. As you can see, even when we're like right up on the entrance, you can barely even see it. It is super hidden. Now coming on the inside, you have a ton of room so you can fit a lot of stuff in here. The only downside is you really can't build on those little sand portions because the map is a little bit messed up there and it like meshes through them and it doesn't place and it's all funky. So if you're fine with building more like vacuum compartments, anyways, you're going to be underwater. And this is the spot for you so it's a nice little hidden area so if you are a smaller tribe but looking for a kind of bigger area to build this is a great one for you now coming at number four this can be found at 9.8 latitude and 21.6 longitude on the island now this can be found up in the top left corner and a lot of you guys are going to be knowing what this spot is which it is pearl cave one of the many many pearl caves that are on the island now this is the main pearl cave the one that got popular way back in the day for being such a great spot and it's still an amazing spot to this day the only issue is arc has it updated now and it is 6x damage so if you are looking to build in here be careful of that but this is a nice little area i mean you got a ton of room in here you even got some some uh sil silica pearls in here too but you have a lot of room in here to really put a base really anything that you need but just know this one is very popular so i recommend building in, uh, in some of the other smaller three three or four of them i forgot how many that there were but this spot has always been a great spot on Ark. Now coming at number 3, this can be found at 46.9 latitude and 42.4 longitude. And this can be found on Fjordor. Pretty close to the last one, which I believe was number 5. This can be found pretty much right next to it. Now this, I'd like to say, is an upgraded version of one of the other pearl caves on the island. Except this one has a lot more room. As you can see on the entrance, it is a massive water entrance, so you can fit a lot more dinos through, through this little area, so I'd be careful with building in here, but you have tons of room in here. I mean, I've built in here, I think, twice now for a full base design video, and I was able to fit a ton of turrets in here and a pretty good size like main base back in the corner over here. So if you're looking for a kind of bigger-ish kind of underwater cave, this is definitely the one for you. And coming at number 2, this can be found at 10.9 latitude and 23.8 longitude, and this can be found on Ragnarok. Now over here in the top left-ish kind of corner of the map, a lot of you guys know this, but this is Mushroom Underwater Cave. And this one is more hidden, but it's also very well known, so a lot of people already know about this spot. But the reason why this is at number 2 is because of the sheer size of this thing. This thing has a ton of room for underwater and above water kind of area. So if you're looking to build on a server that has a higher turret limit, I recommend building on this cave for sure. So as you can see above here, you have tons of room for dino storage, a main base, really anything you want. And I recommend using cliff plats or some kind of thing to make it float so you have more room to build up top. But there's a ton of room and there's endless opportunities with this cave. And we might be doing a full base design on this video really soon. But I love this spot, so if you love a bigger spot, this is the one for you. 
And finally, coming at number 1, this can be found at 71.5 latitude and 1.4 longitude, and this can be found on Fjordor. Now, this has got to be my favorite all-time underwater cave on Ark, as it's just a 10 out of 10. I mean, if you look at this entrance, it is a nice, good-sized entrance, which can easily, easily be blocked off with turrets if you need to. But upon entering this thing, you'll notice it goes upward, which means you have to not only raid it underwater, you have to figure out how to really do stuff going upward if you want to raid this spot. And not to mention, look at the inside of this thing. It looks like a really cool fortress. <laughs> And there's tons of room in here, you even have a nice little lava aspect, you have bats, you have an entire maze in the back of the cave. There's endless opportunity with this thing, and I've built in here multiple times, so if you want to see those videos, go check them out. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video. We hope you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like if you're new, and hit that subscribe button, and comment down below on what videos that you would like to see next. But anyways, thanks for watching.